guys. We have a great match here between Alkady and Nadeberg. We just started. with the first chance to put himself into the lead in this first rack mm. yeah he's nuker himself mm, he's playing a Massey yeah I think mm. Yeah, this is uh, still pretty new cloth, so the Marseille uh, it's not catching as much as on older cloth. Yeah, didn't really give him a chance touching the eight ball. A big uh, mistake here to touch the eight ball first. And David wasn't expecting uh, maybe to get back on the table and he must be feeling pretty good doing just that as he looks in fine shape to go 1-0. So you can find the live scores and matches and results and brackets on nineball.ro that is nineball.ro So David with the first Derner, Salim and uh, Albushi. It's eight eight on B one table. You can uh, watch that on YouTube if you become a member on the Billion Network YouTube page. You can watch the A one and B one tables as well. Yeah, pretty good break here from uh, David. Um, not an easy, uh, definitely not an easy. Um, yeah, he's looking for the combo four to the six. Key here is uh, besides, of course, spotting the six will be keeping position for the four. So he has to manage a uh, cue ball and four. Yeah, pretty good shot from Alkady in prime control to go 2-0. Matter of just connecting the dots at this point.
nice kill shot here to hold position for the ace. break but no shot on the two he's gonna probably push out here is looking to check where would the best spot be value in potting maybe this two ball into the right corner so this must be a safety here three ball it's not enough easy spot to get position on it doesn't go by the five in the corner pocket just maybe maybe it goes on the side on the left side so looking to maybe uh lock uh old katie down here Oh, he went for it. Yeah, maybe trying to get position on the three ball into the side. Got lucky. Got pretty lucky. Snookering uh, David after the miss. kick for sure just gonna go two rails here trying to get safe after the hit maybe hit it on the left side and uh, drag the cue ball towards I hit it on the other side and this will work just fine not leaving a shot for Nodderberg yeah he can see it but that was a tough uh, hit yeah, good shot from uh, Nodderberg Nice fit from Alkady. That was a good shot. I think uh, another Burke can't pot this.
Yeah, leaving a shot for old Katie here. Good hit, but can pot this too. Question is if he can uh, hold position in the side for a three. Yeah, he can maybe use a bit of draw with right hand spin. Draw it from the side rail and back in sort of a center table. shot what a shot from Nodderberg yeah that was an amazing shot on the two Definitely for a highlight reel, even uh, if he didn't get position. Um, very tough pot. He's gonna kick at this three. Yeah, too bad. Hit the five. Ball in hand for David. Very good looking, clean, open table. Three, four, five, real close. Six also. It's like a practice drill for uh, David here. Of course, this is um, the last 16 in the Bet Mets Beaker is open. Things are not as easy when you play in big tournaments. Yep, now well, Katie looking good to go 3-0 here with this two balls left. <sighs> oh, you got the chorbo? You know, coffee? Cubo down. Cubo is down. And look at this 2 9 combo. This could be a quick frame to place himself on the board. Nadeberg. Mr. Carl Nadeberg. Good. And Carl with the combo. Quick frame. After the scratch by LKD on the break, 3 1. Are you 
looking for the house cat? No, I was checking actually if my laptop is still here because yesterday it wasn't was picked up by mistake by Robert and I found it. Oh, Thought by I lost mistake my by Robert. Yeah, heard that once or twice. Found it. Yeah, yeah. Gave me some. Uh, I guess some emotions. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, another bird breaking and cue ball almost dropping instead. He has a shot on the one. Two ball, not in a great place. Not many. Not many places the two ball can pot. Maybe just a side pocket in the left. So this is going to be a tricky little shot. Pretty straight on this one. to play safety not much value in parting the one with the two there well pretty smart to put a one just close to the two actually making sure in, in case he gets ball in hand he'll be close to the two as well or in case he makes a hit maybe he can unlock the two as well a lot of Good things can uh, happen as well for old Katie if uh, he makes a good hit. The one nine. Yeah, he didn't go for it. He did check it. What a shot from old Katie, man. That's a safety that kicking at this and playing in full control. The kick safe. So much skill. And this is a very long uh, shot for another bring, not an easy one, but he can get some position for the two if he pots it. Maybe also uh, going into them in case. Yeah, I think he tried to go into them. You think a bit too aggressive for the early stage of the match? Maybe he's not that settled he's to go yeah. for a long yeah. shot and a hard, tricky I, position. He's definitely not settled. Yeah. He, uh, he snookered himself uh, on surprisingly on uh, on the first frame and he tried to mess it and hit the object ball in front of him you know so still not feeling uh, as comfortable as uh, he can be in Otterberg yet surely he must uh, also feel the weight of playing the world champion David Alcady Nice. So again, a case of experience having a bit of a lead in the beginning of the set, and then maybe there's a, there's a bit of a sweet spot, you know. Like mm -hmm. if you begin with three uh, break and runs, then you're like you're putting decent pressure on your opponent, you know. Yep. If you begin with only two. And make a mistake then the score becomes 2-1 yeah. so your opponent is like mildly under pressure maybe even feeling a comeback and uh, he likes mm -hmm. that but if you begin with four break and runs like yeah. that's that's really pressure you know mm -hmm. so it's like the, the 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 margins on the winner break is like three or four games if you have in front then you're really giving your opponent a tough time to come back into the set yeah. while if you're only like two games or um even one game then mm. your opponent feels that he's very much into the set and uh i'm i'm talking when you're level on the mistakes like mm. uh you're not um giving his ch uh, giving him chances to to bring into the into the game but yeah we'll see 
I, I think we'll see lots of experience uh, of Mr. Lokiti right here, and he's uh, also a very, very good and tough front runner. Yeah. So, yeah, about that. Wow, so it's 10-10 uh, it's at Salim with uh, Al Blushi. Al Blushi. The cider there. Lopotko has 5-3 on Petroni. Zelinski has 7-4 on Papa George's. Papa Georgiou. And Solnoki 5-3 on uh, Dorner. Quarterfinal is about to start. First quarterfinal to start uh, will be Cliff Castellane. what David does here after this break not uh, an obvious shot here maybe cut in the left corner pocket just close to the four yeah it's a pretty thin cut you also have the safety yeah he's going for the safety it's just an easier shot to snooker in behind the four he can also play uh yeah he's gonna go in behind the four hit this one to find it it's probably gonna go two rails yeah from this uh, position the hit itself it's uh, not that easy yeah no contact from Nadeberg and ball in hand for LKD again. Second time this match. Yep, that's the problem uh, ball where LKD is checking right now, the 7 8. He's checking to see if it will pass. Yep, so 4-1, we're back, I'm back. Let's see. Looks like Salim's yeah. match ended. Also, we should check a few of the scores. Uh, we just did earlier a bit. Not much change. Kitty looking very good this match. Probably had a good night's sleep. So, how do you think that Mr. Alkady yeah. is going to judge 
He tried to see if he can pot the 7 by its own, but now seeing that he's checking the combo, I don't think he's comfortable or just the 7 doesn't go on its own. So he might play for the combo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you need a big angle on yeah. this, on the 7. You don't want to get straight. And he's well, going to way too straight, I think. The thing is, oh. after... Oh, that's a bad that's angle, but I think it's a good it's angle for, for a safe. safe yeah. yeah, he will it's just... It's perfect for safe, Yeah, actually. it's really good. It's going to be a big lock down here in between cushion and 8, yeah. Yep. He took away... Oh my god, he even took away... Yep. That one cushion escape from mm -hmm. down. So... Still a one cushion, but with the, the side. On the left side, yeah, I you think? think? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no much value into that, because how can you think that... It back, right? Yeah, how can you kick that and, and be safe? Mm -hmm. I think I would opt for somewhat uh, a lower cushion. I, I would like to come into the seven ball from that, okay. yeah, from the low side, because mm -hmm. there is a pocket over there yeah. the, that can uh, help. And also more value in leaving it safe. And way. also it's a bigger ball because you can also have the cushion from the right yeah. that um, helps you touch that. So you need to check the ball. Oh, yeah. He hit it. Uh, oh, and what is that? Is that, a, 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 is that a, a foul? Yeah, that's he, a foul for sure. You, I don't know. I don't know. They're having a talk. We need wow. to see. Oh, wow. We need to see. Yep, they agreed on a foul. They agreed on the foul. It was sure was. Uh, well, I don't know. First, I don't know. Maybe real first, and then the ball. I don't know. know. I don't yeah, know. Sure. Let's it let's see. Close. It was close. Let's see. Maybe. I think it was close, uh, as you were saying. Hmm. It's close. But uh, it's, it is a rail first, right? Um, yeah, no, the thing is... And this nine ball for a 5-1 lead for David Alcady. and uh, the guy was like uh, okay I have to play from here you know being un being uh, in between shots like uh, coming like having an idea like being unsettled about the fact that it was a foul or not maybe Mr. Lakady came into the table was like maybe I think it was a foul but the ref called it the other way maybe it, 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 and I think it was a harder shot after that the seven you know I think he asked also another burger uh, like he, the way he uh, his, his hands and they just chatted a bit and I think he was saying like, hey, uh, my old, I'm not sure if it was a foul. You tell me, you're sure it was a foul? Asking Nadeberg maybe. Nadeberg, you know? I think they, he asked Nadeberg, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think Nadeberg was like, well, I don't know. And I mean, even us at the, at the commentary booth. Uh... And that's a quick wreck here uh, that Nadeberg can uh, get behind. And draw one back. For a five-two trail on David Elkady. Yep. So five-one. Good shot from Gnadeberg. Yeah. Getting high up enough on the eight ball. For a good angle, playing a yeah. nice shot. It's uh, most uh, assuredly going to be 5 2. Yep. Well, this is a pretty. Uh, uh, Two balls down, but no shot on the one. This is interesting. Uh, will he push out or will he jump? I think uh, jump is a bit too risky. Not much value. 
to get position for the free if he jumps. So mm, actually, I think it does because the three is the pretty much in, in the open. Well, a shot mm -hmm. into the five is not that bad. You know, the 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 three you need sure. a bit of angle for to three to to get up back for the five. Yeah, I, I think, I think you will get this one back. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, this is not easy. I mean, the safe is good. The safe, uh, like you, 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 on the, the, the side, right? yeah, yeah, no, you, you hit it on the right side, on the right side, uh, the, the one ball, and then you go uh, oh, uh, on the right the side and in behind the five, okay, of okay, course, that's another you one. just, you just put the cue ball on the top cushion and you, We're you'll get two rails. In no, you don't need mm -hmm. that. You, you mm -hmm. just focus to put the cue ball anywhere here on the cushion because yeah. the one ball is going to go like around here somewhere mm -hmm. i think it's you can't it's refuse an, this one i mean if you're a katie really you, you want give, no you want to shoot, this, shoot one. this one of yeah. course you want to shoot this one it's two there are two but ways where he can play safe your version mine i have no idea uh what's in his mind i think he just showed naderberg to come at the table and but he then he's checking your shot i think now you think it's too much of an angle is he because on the other side, if you somehow pocket the one ball and you are mm -hmm. on beneath the five, that's bad. Yeah, he's going for my shot. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Almost uh, came with trouble. Yeah, he did th hit it thick, and that's why he didn't get yeah. behind the 8 9. Yeah, yeah. Still? Weird, weird situation. Yeah. None of them like looked really settled with what happened, like yeah. with the position. Yeah, interesting little shot here that uh, Nutterberg made, snookering uh, old Katie, but this is a... Uh, I won't bet he won't be able to pot this either with the jump or with the masse. Yeah, I think it's an easy jump. Yeah, okay. Not really this. bothered by the four, oh, can by the three. Even better. You think Massey is good? I don't think Massey is can, good. Uh, where, what do you do with the cue ball? If you put the uh, left hand spin, because you have to massage. Yeah, but it would will not grab. It will. Uh, yeah, it will true. become a, a, a somehow a, a top spin. Uh, Depends on the intensity. How intense can you shoot that shot? Mm -hmm. Because it will uh, the gra the spin will not grab. Yeah. You, you need to the ball to curve until like before the one ball. So, yeah, I don't know about that shot. Yeah, it's maybe tough. a cross bank. Yeah, because you have uh, so jump, much or jump the jump it's like kind of the same thing as the mm -hmm. as the spin i think you can draw it with the jump just a bit down below just in you know well, yeah but just, it's it's yeah. a bit of a it's a small angle and i don't know how hard you can hit mm -hmm. that one because the the middle pocket is still also a very hard pocket true or just uh, maybe the angle fools us you see? Maybe it was exactly than as I, I said. It's, it was it's straighter than I thought. Really yeah. hard the middle pocket to, mm -hmm. to punch it and to. I don't know. Some players I saw they they jump it and they tend to hit it a bit more in the full because they know that the one ball might still be bouncing. It might yeah. bounce over the middle po the middle corner. Mm -hmm. You know, like the sure. middle, the 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 interior side, mm -hmm. it can bounce over it. So that's why sometimes you you would like to to bounce over that. So maybe play it a bit straighter. But on the other side, if it doesn't bounce, then you miss you miss that shot completely. Yeah. And also you get to a straight Ooh, shot. Ooh, again on the bird. Oh, Ooh, that, was, that close. was close. Yep. Now the bird a bit messy with his work, but still in the still in the mix. Yeah. Let's see if you can turn the, the messiness into Lionel Messi. <laughs> yeah, pretty good shape to pull another one back. It was 5-1 and we can make it 5-3, which will put him right back into this match. course as we saw not even uh, eight to lead is safe Mikey Krause had a two against uh, 
the sweet he did win but <laughs> it uh, was a hill hill match just previously before this match wow nice shot yeah <laughs> that was very straight can and you imagine the the precision of his mm. uh Stop and, shot. and just the the risk and what goes through your mind if something just one Yeah, no shot on the one again. He's not making the one ball consistently. And not getting position for it either after the break. So this is going to be a safe. Tricky little soft shot. Nice, nice. nice. Very nice. Mm hmm Yeah, 5-3, and um, a positive position for Mr. Naderberg, I guess. So while mm. Katie's uh, run is being um, being kept closely by Mr. Naderberg. Very precise jump shot. Man, that was a great fully shot. Intended, fully, fully intended, fully, fully intended. That was a great shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Write that down. Amazing shot. Everything was um, in control of Mr. Alkady. Resafe against Mr. Nadeberg. Felt that the 5 3 lead will, would be better kept if uh, transformed into a 6 3 than uh, if transformed into a 5 4 after a, a safety battle. Yeah, I think Naderberg with a big let off right now. Just couldn't believe the thing that after that yeah. great safety shot and uh, at the uh, at the one, David Alkady find a way, found a way to resave him. Just couldn't believe. Now he's in disbelief. You know how we were talking yesterday about uh, Alkady's tactical game, that jump, man, mm, the safety, jumping, saving. Yeah, yeah, like very, that. very uh, educated. Just sick. Educated mm -hmm. guys, very knowledgeable perspectives of uh, of pool. Yeah. the pieces the puzzle here the main part has been done now he just has to take advantage
Whoa, 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 whoa. Five, three. Bit of a longer game, this one. So um, the guy is just having a, a longer rack. Yeah. Mr. Alkady with a bit of a straight shot, not feeling comfortable enough to to punch two rails this shot so he's spinning it with inside towards the center table position again he landed a bit straight maybe on a bit of a wrong angle than he would have liked just a bit of a draw where the cue ball is now just a bit more than that maybe yep yep so David Alkiri facing a s an easy nine for a 6-3 lead. Yep, in control of the match so far, but as... So, Mr. Alkiri with the break, a, success, a successful one, pocketed the one ball. Really nice on the two ball. Uh, also, the three ball is near. Probably he's gonna have a bit of angle from the for from the three to the four, so he cannot land straight. So probably he's gonna have a bit of an angle from the three for the three after, uh, which will mean that he, I don't know if he can play the four into the middle. I think he can. So maybe he will try to don't have that much angle yep yep really nice really nice so basically now you have uh, maybe two options but both of them converge into the same point so we'd like to go maybe uh, a top spin uh, two cushion or maybe punch it one cushion for the four ball into the middle pocket if you punch it then you will also have a bit of equity if you punch it too hard that you will land on the four ball on the top cushion because I see Mr. Alkiri taking his time with uh, with this shot. He punched it good. No uh, over uh, reaction of the cue ball or uh, too much spin. So now he's uh, on a good, good um, angle to just kill the cue ball around. Uh, to kill the cue ball over, over there and keep that angle. He doesn't like the other angle, so he, he wants to be on the left side of the purple five. He wants to keep that side. So, yeah, I think he felt there was a bit too much angle on the four to kill it. And they didn't want to risk having too much angle on the wrong side of the five and bringing the eight and the seven into play. So he kept it on the left side. Now facing a pretty straight and forward five ball, maybe playing either a stop or a follow-through it's one of the two so he played the follow-through with a bit of check side to, to to straighten out the cue ball he has a good feel of the ball he has a good feel of how much spin will grab from the cushion he's uh, into the zone he wants to regain that that bit of a lead that he's uh, having so he's taking the frames and the ball step by step right now he's in a good rhythm good uh, good flow player good front runner as well uh keeping uh Gnadeberg in the seat fuming after a, f a few m a few mistakes so looking good in control in full control i like the fact that he's checking every bit of ball that he's uh, now playing he's uh very careful with his work in this uh part of the match that shows experience, calm and uh, freshness in the head. A very, very fierceful and uh, tight competitor, Mr. Alkady. I uh, really, I really praise the way he's playing right now. In uh, full control to try and pocket the nine ball upstairs. Denied the the, the middle pocket because of uh, a tight angle. Really swooshed the nine ball in the in the. Court. Should uh, take a look into that and uh, really choose their frames that they want to win and really be effective with that so that they're successful in what they are uh, proposing.
Nice shot. Ooh, that's so glued to the tree. Taking away pretty much all the one railers that Gnadeberg would have. He's really trying to shoot into a blind, into a blind ball facing the other way while the ball is. So he has to have a good feel of what cushions he would like to choose. Maybe a three cushioner very close to the seven ball. The seven ball would be a bit in the way. And this side, I mean, it's a bit of a stretch and not really comfortable with the balls and the angle that he's facing. Again, a three railer on the other side as well, but really stretching and facing the wrong, the wrong way. Yeah. Ooh. Katie with a three ball at the two ball probably trying to go into the eight ball to just push it a little bit onto the rail and open up the five Oof. Not ideal shot on the tree, missing it. Maybe throwing his um, shoulder a bit into it. Leaving Nadeberg with a very thin cut and over the nine with a long bridge. Ooh, nice. Was it nice, huh? Yeah, it was a uh, nice uh, nudge on the six ball to get on the four. This is tricky, though. It's pretty straight. You mm -hmm. wanna, you don't wanna get close with the cue ball to the nine. You want to get close to Just the. Just a bit of a draw. I think he's gonna go forward. I don't know. Looking to aim down. Yeah, no, no, forward was not a shot. The eight ball comes into play too much with the forward. So, yeah, accepting he has a couple medium shots, maybe even three medium shots, one after consecutive, one after the other. Why just yeah. draw this a bit into the eight? Yeah, he wants to clear the eight. He doesn't mm -hmm. care uh, how he clears it, but he just wants to clear it to not bring it into play. And maybe leaving a bit of a bit more angle on the six to use the rail to come to, to come back down for the seven to come back up sorry oh hello. <laughs> what just happened it was a very romanian type of uh, you know oh hello. yeah it's not that but uh he rushed into it oh, he sure. really doesn't feel comfortable out there yeah he moved maybe the the, the, shot. the rhythm is not there alkiri looking very in control Nadeberg not very convinced that he can win this. Looks like he's uh he's a bit down. He's really not. He's I don't holding, know. Uh, maybe the cue ball close to where the five is. Bang this. Yeah. Not much safety, so he you has just to commit to it. Yeah. Of course he, he has. Did. Yeah, it's, it was pretty straight, and yeah. you wouldn't need that much uh, ang uh, that much position. Just stop the ball there because it provides you the angle and the opportunity to draw the cue ball back into the probably the same position for the seven 
much or much or le more or less nice Very shot straight. yeah had to stay very still on that one yeah still have a, a good angle and everything what it's fine maybe yeah a bit short but eventually came up just okay from the side and back to the nine lots of left spin that's a pretty shot that's gonna make it eight three four the multiple whirlpool master champion Okay, to break with a pretty comfortable lead, 8-3. And uh, wow, look at the break. Look at that. That's perfect break from the Spaniard. Kind of like has a road map. 2-3-4, then uh, are pretty close to each other. 5-6 as well. This is an ideal clean table for old Katie to break and run. Pretty straight on this eight, but yeah, he'll play for the shorter, for the longer nine here, shouldn't be a problem. And didn't want to flirt with uh, the corner pocket and the cue ball, left himself a bit of a cut here. Solid queuing from David O'Kee. Yeah, a perfect break. Last frame. Let's see if he can. Yeah, one down, but this time, no shot on two. Yeah, so you can check the brackets and the matches, results, draw, whatever you guys uh, prefer to call it, seeing in the comments. On nineball.raw, that's where you can check the draw, players, and brackets. Nineball.raw. Yep, Nutterberg is Estonian. That's the flag of Estonia. One of the three Baltic uh, countries.
and that's not gonna do it for uh, for uh, Katie. And a chance for Nutterberg. Maybe he can find himself a bit of a rhythm. It's gonna be tough at 9-3 to put some pressure on uh, David, maybe needing to rack uh, three or four frames for that, but yeah, we've seen it before. This uh, this last uh, couple of days, there have been a few uh, a few comebacks. Nadeberg couldn't find a rhythm on uh, this match. It has been very nice to see this year. He's made a pretty good tournament. Not the best match he can produce here with El Katie. He's got a lot to look forward at 15 years old. Last 16 at the Bucharest Open. Yeah, that, uh, if he doesn't see it to park, I think he got a bit lucky. Still, not the best of safeties here. Yeah, another bird could uh, take a shot at this. Mm, not the easy eight. But, yeah, if you want to win against the best, you have to beat the best with good shots like that one okay just barely rolled so as it's comfortable enough i think to pot the nine yep Thank you. 
something to push out here. Yeah, so Filler actually qualified in the last 32 on the winner's side. He only wo lost one match against Salim, the 11-4. Yeah, what a safety, man. Wakiti is so good at tactical and strategic pull. One of the best in my opinion. Or at least on this part of the game, of course, he's one of the best players in the last 10 years or so. Tough, tough find this one. Maybe uh, the side pocket there, mm, mm, kind of like where he would hit with the cue ball to go just past the eight and hit the one. So side, maybe uh, ooh, he's tried a really interesting shot, a Z shot if you remember, the famous Z shot that Efren Reyes pulled, considered one of the best shots in the uh, history of pool. So Katie in prime position to go on the hill. This is gonna be even if he has ball in hand, this is gonna be the key shot. Dropping on this two. He checked if it goes past the nine. He's checking again, it's pretty close. Uh, oh checking the two nine now. Yeah, well, Kitty knows the importance of this shot, taking his time, checking all the variables and possibilities. safe where he landed on that two not good for the combo and that's a good save now he's gonna find the two here 
Gonna be interesting. Maybe locking up some balls. Or the three rail, like he was checking. It's also maybe a one rail shot. Yeah, that's what he's gonna play. hit from <laughs> from Nutterberg definitely a, a highlight real shot shot that Nutterberg did is definitely one of the best shots of today. shot that Nutterberg was able to make gave him a great chance to lock old Katie down I think he left Nutterberg something here. I think he can pot the three, yeah. So Nadeberg with two frames in a row here make it nine five. Maybe uh, yeah, we can uh, get this even closer. That would be interesting after nine three. Good break here needed for the Estonian. Oh, as soon as I said that, cue ball scratching. And this might be it for another break at this year's Romanian Open. Wow, and he really got into a decent rhythm the last two or three frames. Question is here, yeah. 
This is the key shot for sure. Getting to the one from the one to the two in a pretty good angle should uh, give him a uh, much much confidence that he can uh, clear up from here Yeah, this wasn't gonna be an easy shot. Screwing right in between the six and the side pocket. Bit sure, but he should just be fine here. Yeah. More of an issue, the positional shot, of course, than the pot here. Bit tricky. Yeah, eight and nine, uh, well on uh, the natural path of the true rail shot. Yeah, that's that was a good idea, of course. Um, not as great of an execution of it. I think he wanted to roll more <coughs> yeah so this can go into the side or the corner <coughs> Yeah, pretty difficult shot here. He knows how important this shot is. Can be the difference between 10-5 and Amazing shot from Mo David. Great shot. Took his time. Yeah. 
Prime queuing from David Olkady. Nine ball to get on the hill for David Alkir. Kraus already started his quarter quarterfinal against Castellane, which uh, Kraus leads 5 3. And yeah, Salim. Playing Candela in the other quarterfinal, Candela leads to one. So two quarterfinals already started, and uh, just two more matches from the last sixteen. This one and this is the Lopotko Petroni, and great break from Olkady provides him with a pretty clean table. Look at those balls, like. Ooh, a bit of a overcut, but he might just make it. Look at those balls, just six, seven, eight, nine, right next to each other. Four or five as well. But he's, he, oh wow. Very, very surprised he played like that. Wow. Hmm. Just when uh, we thought the table couldn't get any better with this layout. So yeah, two quarter final already started. Kraus leads to five three. Candela leads Salim two one. And ten eight for Lopotko against Petroni on last sixteen, and we have the other last sixteen match here. Olkady Nordenberg approaching the final stages. At the Mets Bucharest Open, it's been a great, another great year here. 256 players started, and we're about to have the last eight played all out. Eight thousand euros for the champion. Three thousand six hundred for the second place, sixteen hundred euros for third and fourth, eight hundred for the quarter finalists. Difficult shot here, for sure. So difficult pot. He might like to, like to play safety. Wow, the cross bank actually. Yeah, this might be it. Not the straightforward pot this is, but uh, yeah, just needs to hold the cue ball around the, just close where the five is.
Oh wow. Oh wow, really letting the arm loose here. OKD with one of the best shots he's made this match. Really thumped that in. Wow. And right before that amazing shot. Again, this frame. Two mistakes. This frame for OKD. Yeah, play the safety. I think he can hit this. If not, one real kick can also put him in a. Just send a seven ball in between the eight and the nine. If he kicks full. Oh, he had. Oh, wow. He had the shot. Didn't expect uh, he could see it that fully. Bank from the 18 year old Carl Nutterberg. Don't leave himself a bit of a tricky nine. Couldn't get too good on it from where he was. Still fancy him to make this, but this is definitely not a gimme. nice spot 10 six b1 as well the the other quarterfinal can Salim and francisco candela where candela leads 3-1 yeah Durner pull one back it's 9-7 for solnoki in uh, that match oh wow look at this break can you ask for a better break than this Not sure if you can ask for a better break than this. Let's see if it's too little too late for Nutterberg or not with breaks like this. He should be fine after the perfect break. Nutterberg will pull another one back after this nine. And it's ten. Off shot from Nadeberg. It's a scratch. Yeah. If 
few scratches on the brake here for Nadeberg. It's been an issue. Mm. Ball in hand here. This is a pretty clean table here for old Katie, of course. Nothing come, nothing feels as easy as it does uh, from outside when it, it's this close on the hill. Last 16 of the big tournament. Every pool player knows how difficult it can become when you're not in the zones I'm not saying that Alkady isn't but when you're not in the zone every shot feels uh, almost every shot feels uh, tough like you feel like you uh, also with the cue ball you always feel like rolling a bit more probably gonna go two rails the same with the six as with the five yeah good angle on the seven to drop on the eight Three balls left for Alkady and the quarterfinal. with uh, 